What's up, everyone? Snakey's back in hell. And actually, WWE 2K15 for his Freaky Friday. Why do you say his as I'm like third person? Snakey's back here with Freaky Friday as we see coming down to the ring with the devil's favorite demons music and entrance. We have a guy. What the hell? Who is this guy? What is this munchkin doing? This is Kane. He's not, in, not in his, he's not in his body, clearly. He's in Rey Mysterio's body, as you can see by the tats and that mask, which he actually, he went through Rey Mysterio's closet, and he found he found a bunch of, like, S&M stuff, which was kind of, well, for Kane, he was kind of like, oh, I feel actually kind of comfortable with this. But uh, for, it was kind of strange to know Rey Mysterio was into that kinky stuff, like nipple clamps and all kinds of weird swings and, it was like plungers and stuff like that. He does. He did, it was Kane was like, "Whoa, I'm gonna close this drawer. Maybe come back to it after the match." But for now, I'm gonna open this drawer. And he pulls out all the masks of Rey Mysterio, and he found one mask that burned with the rage of hell. Pure red, a little bit of black, a little hint of black. And so he donned the red mask. He found a junior-sized outfit of his own. Slapped that puppy on. Got an extra small glove to boot. Actually, the glove came with one of Rey Mysterio's S&M outfits, but he, he he swiped that glove as well. And he came down to the ring, but booyaka, booyaka, here comes Kane, or is it Rey Mysterio, I should say, booyaka! Let's see him come out. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Rey Mysterio found some extra large pants. He put those suckers on. I just I picked the colors at random. Uh, I just thought this was good good pairing of colors. It's, it's a, it, you know, Rey Mysterio came with so many different colors. I'm kind of surprised if he had this outfit before. But look at the mask. He has a long-haired mask and everything. He dyed that sucker and mixed those colors up, too. So, so here comes Rey Mysterio, tattoo-less for once. Oh, big enough. Believe it or not, he is big enough to ride all the rides at Cedar Point. I don't think ever in the career of one of the greatest luchadors ever has he been been allowed to ride even the magnum every ride at cedar point even the magnum people before he would he would go with eddie guerrero back in the day and even and chavo eddie him eddie and chavo got to go on all the all the great rides and they were like i'm sorry son you have to be this tall to ride the magnum and ray mysterio was like dude do you know who i am i'm ray mysterio I'm a famous luchador, wrestler around the world, and you're saying I cannot ride the Magnum? And they're like, dude, I'm sorry, I don't care who you are, you're about four foot flat and you can't ride the Magnum. The bar comes up to your chin, you're getting knocked the hell out, and he's like, hey! And then he watches Eddie Guerrero and Chavo. Chavo, who's like five foot, four foot, well, he's about five foot, let's say. And so he gets, he gets to go on the rides, he gets to go on the rides. He just passes, but Rey Mysterio never got passed. Now, but, but now it's a different story. I think after this match, he's actually going to go to Cedar Point. Straight to Cedar Point with his family. He's going to ride all the matches. They're going to be confused as hell. It's like, why the hell is Kane taking us to Cedar Point? But that's a whole different story. Right now, they are in the ring. Kane trying to use that speed advantage, because that's all he has in this match is speed advantage. Is Rey Mysterio trying to get used to the fact that he's not fast anymore? And look at those big feet. He's just like sticking them out of the ring because he's not used to his big feet and long legs. But uh, soon enough, you get it'll come to him that he is strong as hey hey hell, and he will use that to his advantage. Uh, I don't think he's realized that yet. As, as Kane is just taking it to, it looks like he's trying to poke the eyes out of Rey Mysterio. This is just a regular match, by the way, one on one. Nothing special about it. Uh, even though that was kind of a dick move, it was a little dirty move. And then, oh Jesus, that's what we wanted to see, ladies and gentlemen. It was a hurricane rana done to perfection by the big red monster's body. As he goes for a clubbing blow in the back there. What's this going to be? What's this going to be? Got him. Another, ooh, it's another hurricane rana by the giant. The giant body of Kane as, as, as Rey Mysterio kicks Kane in the back. Kicks him in the... One little kick kind of kicks the whole torso of Rey Mysterio. So, oh, he flips around. That wasn't he, that wasn't even much of a flip. He just kind of like walked around him. <laughs> his jump still allowed his toes to stay on the ground. That's how short. Look at that. Look, his baby barely hops off the ground to do that, do that flipping DDT as he's landing big knees. 
What used to be average blows from Rey Mysterio are now are gigantic clobbering blows Another in Kane's here. body as Kane just kind of he just kind of fell down like he was a penguin. Uh, it was just like a penguin shot with a tranquilizer dart. Just kind of goes numb and passes out. As he, but he does use his speed to his advantage. Gets that little takedown. As is, what is this? What is this? This is like a wake up time. I did crank the momentum up high, so hopefully we're gonna see a lot more finishers. Uh, after all, they they are still level 77, so I don't want to. Uh, that was a gigantic choke slam by the little midget man. One, two, kick out, please. Three, ding, ding, ding. We have another five minute match. The woes of. The woes of. Um, there you go. Big choke slam. The woes of um, overall being 77. I think what I'm going to do is like what I did with the last time. If, it, if the match is about five minutes or so, I will do a two out of three series. Let me know if that's if that's a good idea. Uh, part of the part of the benefit of the series is because it's only on Fridays. I get a I get a week's worth of feedback from you guys. So if you're like, "What the fuck, man? That was a short ass match." It's like, "Yeah, I know it was a short match. I can't help it. They're not like overall 99s. You know, they're not gonna be kicking out of this sucker left and right. You're not gonna have a lot of 2.9s. You're you're gonna get quick roll up wins for all I know. But uh, that was impressive. Kane, Kane. Uh, just came up with a win after a series of Herc and Rana that probably hurt him a lot more than he uh, thought would. He'd never been in a situation where he was the vulnerable one. We're going to do a rematch. We're going to see if the outcome is the same. After all, this, this match wasn't exactly too long, so we can fit this sucker back in. You can pretend all these matches are best two out of three. So if that's how you want to sleep at night, you sons of bitches. What more do you want from me? <laughs> I'm trying to give you a good match. This, this computer is all AI, obviously. As if you cannot tell. This is the third episode of this. If you cannot tell by now, it's all AI fighting. And I'm just doing the commentary. My controller's on my lap. Um, and I'm just watching this thing as Kane takes over. You'd be surprised he can pick up and slam down the body of the big red machine or big red monster or corporate Kane or whatever. He has the mask, so he's not so much corporate Kane, but he's still technically corporate Kane, right? As he, as Kane, uh, Rey Mysterio uses that strength advantage, but Kane uses that speed to get out of any holds Rey Mysterio tries to put on him. Let's see if we're going to see some more Hurricane Runners. Oh, the short arms of Kane could not reach the tall, tall neck of Rey Mysterio. There's a big Irish whip, and Rey Mysterio, he asked him that speed still. Maybe that was a straight up power trip. Yeah, that little drop toe hold. Now, Rey Mysterio, ooh, could break the knees. Those are some reconstructed knees of, of, of uh, Rey Mysterio, of Rey Mysterio's body. Mysterio knows his weakness, just like everybody in the series. You know your weakness the best as Mysterio uses that strength like no one's business. Hurricane Runner, that's what we came to see. That's what the people in the audience shelled out the big money for. But, uh, yeah, you know your weaknesses. So when you switch bodies with somebody and then you have to fight your body, you know what to do to, to slow them down, to hurt them badly. If you see another hurricane run on, done to perfection. You'd think that head would land just like my back, uh, or the back of the head would land just on the, on the mat. Uh, but Rey Mysterio knows his, his, his limitations. Oh God, knows his parameters. And now Kane is back in full control. He drove that shoulder into the pole. He drove that knee into the face. Now he's driving those fists into the chinny chin chin. That exposed chin, the only part of Rey Mysterio's face that is uh, that is out and open, easy to punch. Mm, another punch to that chin. I, I don't know if, it's a, if he's meant to punt the chin or the fact that Rey Mysterio's body is so short that he can only reach Kane's chin. But it was another beautifully done Hurricane Rana. Because now Kane is in the driver's seat. What is he doing now? What is he doing? Oh my goodness, this looks so awkward and inappropriate. It's like a flipping slam and he rolls backwards. That was very, very impressively done by uh, Rey Mysterio. I think I might have called him Kane. That was Rey Mysterio's move. I'm very impressed by that move. One and a kick out of one. One count glitch, ladies and gentlemen. It has returned. It has come back with the vengeance. <laughs> Rey Mysterio slams Kane to the corner. What's he going now for? He turns his turns his ass around, goes for that knee, sends him down there. What is he going to be doing here? He flips over. This guy is not a cruiserweight. What is he thinking? 
He is not a cruiserweight. I don't think I don't think he realizes he can't scale the top rope. I, th I honestly think that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to get to the top rope, and I do not have top rope moves set to him or something. I don't know what. Kane has no idea what Rey Mysterio is doing. He is just watching. Oh, God. Oh, please. Oh, heavens, help me if this is what this match is going to be about. Oh, we're in for a long episode. This went from a five-minute squash match to, to uh, oh, God. Even Kane backs away. He's like, what are you doing, Rey Mysterio? And the whole audience is like, this is, this is stupid. As Kane says, no more of this. And Rey Mysterio says, maybe a little bit more. As he hops back in, he can't even do a springboard. But he can float over and do a, hit a neckbreaker. Thank God this didn't end. I think Rey Mysterio is a little bit exhausted. His cardio is not quite the same in Kane's body. That was, quite frankly, the dumbest thing I've ever seen. It was a, sh it was a short little DDT on the short little body of Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio is dragging, dragging Kane out to the center of the, root of the mat. He picks him up and mm, lands a big kick to the back. Telegraph to the right. What is this going on? Another float over, another neck breaker. I don't know if you can hear Kane. He, King, he said telegraph. That's why it's telegraph. Is right. One, two, and a kick out. 2.9. Rey Mysterio almost had it. I'm this tough. I'm not used to being, I'm not used to the outfits being different. So to call Kane Rey Mysterio, seeing Rey Mysterio's colors, make me want to call him the opposite. It's weird. But now we got a, is this, I think this is a signature from Kane. I think this is his signature. Is that choke. And he's got a synced in looks almost like an eye gouge actually but but Rey Mysterio stayed in it he didn't pass out and the referee didn't count his shoulders down we have a drop toe hold now by little Ray Ray who sh I should be calling big Ray Ray he's working those knees with, and you know he's working the back with his knees he's like my knees have never felt this good I can use them as weapons without worrying about them popping one and a kick out I think Kane has a finisher in him I can't tell obviously not using this guy I think he was going for that choke that choke slam but uh Rey Mysterio kicked him and that was a big backbreaker from what I'm assume now are broken legs two and a kick out the last second this match has been a lot more action packed Ooh, as the last one a lot more close counter close counts as oh a big just just lifting just chucks him out of the ring there and he flips over and he don't oh, I think he stomped on him but I'm not sure Rey Mysterio is just so happy to have good knees again. He is jumping around. <clears throat> Lands that elbow right across the sternum. Rolls back into that ring. Tried to break up that 10 count. Didn't want count out loss. And he's trying to stomp on those knees. And a big boot. Or a small boot. I don't know what that was. But that's got to be, that has to be a rope break. Doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. That big boot was straight to, I think, the dick of... Rey Mysterio, and we got a big choke slam. He's prepping. He's prepping. He picks him up. He slams him down for the choke slam, and he goes for the pin. But his hands under the rope. That was a rope break. What are you doing, Kane? What are you doing? You gotta know your surroundings. Rey Mysterio's arms are a lot longer than you think. Now, man, those knees cannot feel good for Kane. Picking up that body is one thing, but then slamming all that weight down on your knees, Kane. You're not a smart man. I just, I just, I just don't think he's used to the body after. About 10, 15 minutes of competing. See, his knees, his knees just buckled after doing offensive moves. He falls down to one. Oh, kicked him in the straight in the knee. He's going, he's going for this crazy flippity doo dah again. Boom, lands it. He doesn't go for the pin right after because I don't think I have pins after moves set. But that would have been a great opportunity to pin him. He's going for the pin now, though. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. We ring the bell. This, this means we're going for the rubber match, baby. We're going a little longer than I expected. I thought maybe 10 minutes. I thought after the first match we're gonna see we're gonna see maybe another five minute match, but uh, we're going the distance. Another couple of flipping slant, uh, neck breakers there. And some close pins. One, two, three. Nope. I had a burp there. Excuse me. And a big choke slam mm, from the small red monster to to big Ray Ray. But that did not stop, and it took two of those flipping slams to finally put out Rey Mysterio's body and Kane as Ray Ray goes 
Get that win, baby. Get that win, baby. Booyaka, booyaka. Booyaka, booyaka. Rey Mysterio wins it. Don't listen to that announcer. They're all superstars. <laughs> that is a good-looking cane, by the way. That if 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 Kane fell into a big batch of cotton candy and just like rolled around in it like a little kid and had made sweet sweet love and had sex with that cotton candy, this is the baby that would that would come out of the womb of the cotton candy. If the cotton candy was a, of like a living breathing monster, so if Kane had sex with cotton candy, you would get cotton candy Kane. Oh my God, cotton candy Kane! Oh Jesus! Writing that down, going in the universe. You are here to witness history. Where, where, oh my god, Cotton Candy Cane. I'm copywriting that right now. Cotton Candy Cane. Done. Done. You, if, I, if you see Cotton Candy Cane anywhere else, they stole it from me. Rematch. Cotton Candy Cane is a Schnikes creation. Cotton Candy Cane, Schnikes TM. No, Schnikes 66. TM, I don't know, whatever. Whatever you do, the copyright things. Cotton, cotton candy cane. Hopefully it's not already used. I apologize if it's used. But look at those colors, man. You can't tell me what hasn't been used. Look at that. It's a thing of beauty. Anyways. So, uh, can, cotton candy cane sho <laughs> shoves <laughs> shoves the little red demon. I don't, even, I don't even know what to call Rey Mysterio. But that's not that's not, neither here nor there. We have one match to Kane, one match to Rey Mysterio, and this is that rubber match. Collar and elbow tie up. Once again, you can imagine Rey Mysterio has the power, but I guess power cannot always compete with quickness, as Kane cannot even catch Rey Mysterio. Can't put two hands on him, but he can overpower him every so often as he shoves him aside. Rey Mysterio is ready to fight. Flips him over, slams his head down in the mat with a big DDT, slamming those beautifully. I don't want to say beautifully big, beautifully big knees. As Kane goes for that big backbreaker on his small winky, winky dinky little knees. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm describing these knees very oddly. A big, uh, small leg drop. <laughs> and he stomps in the mud hole with, with, with his feet that are so, so small compared to what he's used to. But more mud holes. Why not? It says, no, Remister, you cannot stand up. You have to you have to stay down as I stomp some more into you. Picks him up again once more for another backbreaker. My God, how many backbreakers does Kane have in him to give more mud hole stomping? Why not? Why not? He says. Goes for the pin. One. No, not enough. Not enough mud hole stomping. Not enough backbreakers. He goes for the punch. His arms are just too short. Just too short. But Kane attempts that strength game and he actually pays off. One of those moves that you know both superstars are in on it because you couldn't pull that off otherwise. <laughs> Rey Mysterio obviously had to jump to, to receive that move. As a, he goes with a big arm drag. He's, what is this move? Oh my god, have you ever seen Kane's body flip? He's going to show it to you twice just in case you didn't take that picture. That was a thing of beauty. Never seen a backflip from Kane. Then again, never seen Hurricane Rana's as well. As he, as he goes for a big kick to the back, Kane's body is, is being tenderized like a piece of meat. He goes for a big punch to that gut. Big punch, kick to that gut. He's going for that flipping power bomb again thing. Woo! Flips around. He just lands it. He sinks it in. Kane, his, his, the back of his head, his shoulders, his back, as you can see, he's holding it in pain. He's going for that pin. This could be a very quick match. One, no, kick out. If that is a signature, you know Kane is prepared to use that 6 to a 9. Oh my god, Kane out of nowhere! Kane out of nowhere to get that stinky yes and m hand into Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio is like, I know this smell from somewhere. I'm, oh, hey, you raided right my closet, you son of a bitch. That's my glove. I've used it before so many times in inappropriate ways. And now we're going for another choke slam. Another big choke slam from... Ah, Kane to Rey Mysterio. Is he too close to the rope? So Rey Mysterio has long arms. One, two, three. He does not get it. Kane makes quick work of Rey Mysterio. Oh my goodness gracious. He got pissed off. He got pissed off that Rey Mysterio actually got a victory over him. So Kane goes for a quick win. That is an amazing match. Best two out of three. We went to the third match, the tiebreaker. 
carrying this time a little bit more aware of his surroundings. There was no rope break saving Rey Mysterio. He actually walked him towards the center of the ring as he goes for that choke slam. Mm. Why does Kane? Why, well, why does Kane use that choke slam, knowing that Rey Mysterio does, just has to keep his legs on the ground? He barely lifts him up high enough. Rey Mysterio literally could just keep standing. But uh, what an impressive showing by both guys! Three matches in a row, and we got our victor. We got our victor. Did not expect to have a 20-minute match. Then again, didn't expect two five-minute matches and a 10-minute match. But uh, there you go. Um, overall, 77s and all. Uh, I forgive me if you actually told me how to s uh, go around that problem of having 77 matches uh, overall. Uh, I recorded. The pilot, the, the episode before this one, and this third episode all at once in one sitting. Uh, I'm now going to stop recording and give some breath of fresh air for you guys to respond in the comment section below if you know, A, how to avoid the 77 overall without having to go through the My Career, and B, for any suggestions, give me any sort of suggestions. The common theme, I think, in this one when I made it is the two masked wrestlers I had. I stuck the two guys with masks and I mixed them up. Um, I had the two warriors, Sheamus and, and the Ultimate Warrior, in the first one. And then the very pilot, first pilot episode was uh, just a rematch between uh, between Kevin Nash and, and uh, CM Punk. So, like I said, let me know the ideas for, the, for possible future matches. I got plenty of them, and, but I want to hear some from you guys. And uh, let me know if you just enjoy this in general with a comment and a like. Subscribe if you haven't and if you want to see more of the Freaky and the Friday. Till the next time, I'm Shrekies, I'm out. Thank you!